Well, I've been a bit of snooping around for those Bianchi lovers, and they've bought out their new Bianchi Ultra RC, and then their Bianchi Ultra Pro, and their Bianchi Ultra, and they do vary. And the Bianchi Ultra does have a two-piece handlebar. It hasn't got the one-piece handlebar that's like on the RC, so you could adjust the handlebars on that. But that's what this video is about. It's about the stem system, and the handlebar system and what Bianchi is offering with those three bikes. So let's roll the intro and let's have a talk about why you need to know this information before you rush out and buy your brand new $25,000 AUD Bianchi RC Ultra. Now, I've been scouring the internet, been onto Bianchi's website, and I can't find any information about getting handlebars to fit you because obviously they're a one piece and we want them to be the whip that you want and also the, the stem that you want. And some of the brands are offering 16 different combinations. So you can get four sets of width and you've got four sets of different lengths. So you've got your reach and you've got your width and you can pick one to to accompany that bike. Now, from the past, when I've dealt with bike shops, generally these bikes that are off the shelf bikes that come in a box and the handlebars are related to the size of the bike. And if you wanna change the handlebars, they're a bit reluctant. Now, in this case with these newer bikes like the Bianchi Pro, the handlebar is one piece. Now, that creates a bit of an issue because you can't just go, oh, look, I wanna swap out a generic handlebar for a different size handlebar because I don't like the really wide ones. I've got a narrow shoulder or I've got a wider shoulder and I want to get a wider and narrow handlebar. Or I just like riding a narrow handlebar because it's a little bit trendy at the moment compared to my height. And from doing a bit of digging around, okay, this information was off a forum because there's nothing relating to the handlebars and what you, you get with what size. But on this forum, this person is stating, let me just read it off to you, that for a 90 stem, you get a 40 centimeter width. At a 100 stem, you get a 42 width, centimeter width. And at a 110 length, you get a same 42 centimeter width. And at a 120 stem, you get a 44 whip. So what they've done is, it appears what they've done is, is as they used to do in the old days, is as the side goes up, the whip goes up because the, the guy's going to be taller or the woman's going to be taller and the handlebars are going to be wider. But we do know that people coming all shapes and sizes, and especially women as well, tend to have a little bit of a different fit. So that could be an issue, especially for the women who want to look at buying this bike. Now, I've got a bit of an issue here because... I think for that money, $25,000, you really need to go into your bike shop or wherever you're getting this from and you need to contact them and you need to say, hey, look, I want to be able to change out that handlebar because I'm paying top dollar for this bike and have the one that fits. I want to be able to try different sizes so I can get my fit right. And if they're not really wanting to change out the handlebars out of the box, then that could be an issue for your purchase because if you have to buy that separately, like this, just say you're going to buy the 57 centimeter, right? But you don't want a 42 width, you want a 40 width, then can they swap that out? And if they don't, I do believe that these handlebars are around about $1,000 AUD to buy. So that is a huge expense and It'll be very restricting if you can't swap them out and get what handlebars you like because the manufacturer is only offering a fixed stem handlebar system. Now, the second thing that people have been talking about or a few people have raised is when you look at this bike, it's got these beautiful handlebars that are very aero and they've got this little hole in there, which I think is more about looking sexy than doing any real aerodynamics because 
just pushing air through a hole doesn't make it any more aerodynamic. It, it you know, rather than passing it around the outside, it's, it's they could make it narrower and thinner, and it would do the same as long as they control the air and don't let it turbulate as it's coming around the handlebars. So that probably a bit of a aero gimmick, but what isn't an aero gimmick is the way that's this designed, or when you see it in the videos, there does not look like any place to mount a computer or a cycling computer. Now I've also tried to find, do Bianchi offer some type of special computer mount? You can mount to that handlebar in some way because it, it, from looking at it, you can't seem to see there's any mounting point. So you can put this mount on to put your out front computer because obviously people <laughs> that are spending 25K AUD are going to want their stem, their out front stem, and they're going to want a computer. They don't want to have lackeys going around the stem like you, that Garmin and some of the other brands offer you. It looks tacky. You want it to look neat on your $25,000 bike. So you want the stem out the front and you want to mount it. You want it to all look really nice. You put your Garmin on or your Wahoo or your Hammerhead and it just looks whew, slick. So that is another thing you need to confirm if you're really looking at this bike, you're a Bianchi guy, you've been waiting for this new Bianchi Ultra RC to come out, you're gonna get it. Just hold off for five minutes, make sure you clarify all this stuff because what's gonna happen is once the adrenaline and excitement of buying the bike's worn off and you find that the fit doesn't feel right, then you could be up for some significant money for the handlebars or you may have this issue of trying to find a computer mount from wherever that's going to fit this handlebar system. Well, anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it. Leave your comments down below. Do you know anything else that's come out from Bianchi? Because they're very tight-lipped on this, which generally means that no news is bad news. Because when you see more and they explain more about their bikes, and you have a little bit more confidence in the, what the manufacturer is offering. But in this case, that is not what's happening. Well, anyway, guys. That's where I'm going to leave it, and I'll see you next vid. Shh.